back to our YouTube channel. And we are the Backlog Talk. And for today's video, if you remember, we will react to the trending video, which is how Malaysia did the impossible. And for today's video, so for today's video, we're going to react again, again on his video. But but yeah. but, 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 but but the topic is that. This trending video was why, being blocked by why Facebook. Why Facebook yeah. blocked his video? Because it says that uh, Facebook identified that the video mm -hmm. is false and misleading. misleading. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to watch why it happened. Why it happened? Yeah. <laughs> Without further ado, let's watch this Malaysia boy. <laughs> Facebook says that my Malaysian video, the best video that I've ever made, promotes false, misleading, deceptive claims. The coronavirus hits Malaysia. Malaysia was in some serious trouble. But don't you ever <laughs> underestimate the power of Malaysia. My yeah. favorite part, the power, the power. The power. Not only did I use accurate facts and even source many of the areas where I got the information, I also had 30 YouTubers do fact checks on it and review the video. And the only thing I found out yeah, from their reviews it's was fun. that there was more it's things true, I should have included that Malaysia had done, like giving free internet. This is yes. correct because a country like Malaysia often gets ignored. When you look at countries that did amazing fighting COVID-19, it's all about Western countries or maybe because Taiwan, but a country like yeah. Malaysia is yeah. completely yeah. off the map. And I worked like really the, hard to give Malaysia the justice they deserve. Uh, and Facebook, Genius. which is supposed to be for the people, is not for the Malaysian people. So no wonder a place like Malaysia is ignored. Because when somebody actually does a story and shows the great things about Malaysia, it's called false, and Facebook what blocks Facebook? organic reach and blocks ads. Facebook has no email, has no phone number, has no way to contact them, and has no explanation of why they think it's false and misleading. I and just yet, they that, have an office in Malaysia. So anybody emails. knows somebody working for Facebook in Malaysia or anywhere in the world could you please ask them to look at my video and tell me what yeah. is misleading? What this should I do different so that they don't think it's wrong and false? This video. Because it's a big surprise to me. <laughs> this is not the only video I had trouble with Facebook. The, I actually have had a lot of them. They took down things, which yeah. country is the most dangerous in the world, where I used Wikipedia to show which countries are actually the most dangerous. And Facebook continually has not allowed me to make any money on any of my videos, Why? which I don't do this for money. <laughs> I do this because I want to show the world things that they might not realize. But it would be nice to be able to make a little bit of money to help pay for my equipment and the editor that helps correct, me make these correct. videos. This and this is not the only time yeah. Facebook yeah. has attacked yeah. Malaysian videos or Malaysians. For example, Epic Asian has had a lot of trouble with Facebook. He uploaded a great video and it got stolen, downloaded, and re-uploaded on a different channel. And then Facebook actually gives Epic Asian a notification that he had stolen and what used information Facebook? from the video that was his <laughs> that Hello, got re-uploaded. How crazy is that? And he had a ton of troubles when he tried to talk to Facebook about it. I think it's best to just let him speak about it. I have no way to talk to them. I want to apply for the copyright manager. They don't they don't let me apply for it. I try to apply for a blue tag. They say, no, we close your you case. Recently, I know another yeah. Malaysian couple got hacked. They went to the Singapore Facebook headquarters wow, and they ignore her. So they are so much bigger than me and they ignore her. To be honest, I don't think Facebook will, still, will help us because I think Facebook mm. Don't like Asian. Don't and I'm like, not sure my God, why Facebook why don't doesn't like seem to Asian? treat Malaysians fairly. You but I think when an organization yet, as huge as Facebook, it's no so important that they treat Facebook all people, creators, and countries equally. And they so, if equally. anybody knows anybody on Facebook, please private Asian, message me Africa. as I travel to every country. I soon discovered the world to be very See, different than I imagined. I make videos to show the other side of places unfairly treated and ignored. Follow to learn more. Warning, be prepared to be surprised by what you might learn. A few moments later. So, my God, it's hard I, to I, 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 I'm speechless, actually I'm speechless right now. Regarding the, um, the one gig free um, data, yeah, it's true guys, as you can see here on our mm -hmm, yeah. link SIM card. So yeah. uh, when um, COVID started, um, the government uh, gave us free one gig every day. So 
if you have um load so you just need to click on this and then you will yeah. be given a uh, one gig every day guys that is true yeah you can prove that. i i believe yeah. that this one gigabyte will last until september so based on my experience since we are living here in malaysia the fact that he actually gave those information on his video everything on that video are correct everything actually uh, everything happens uh, on that video it really, it really it really happened here in malaysia like for example the um they actually do that mco um, it's true there are checkpoints yeah. on the road guys it's very very hard here in, it is very very hard here in malaysia to experience that mco we want to give justice to that youtuber because of his hard work on making that video mm. because he collaborated with other YouTubers just to make that video so that so that Malaysia or the Malaysians will be recognized yeah. because uh, we can really prove that it's uh, a fact or true guys because we've experienced everything yes. here because we're living um, here in Malaysia so everything that he mentioned on that video is really a fact to them, guys so uh, we're um, clueless we're, we don't know why Facebook blocked yeah. that uh, we just wanted um, to give justice for him so we just wanted an answer for him why yeah. or what is the reason why um, it was being blocked by Facebook yeah so Facebook if you are able to explain it to that YouTuber please explain it to him because he deserves that explanation coming from you because we also we did an effort for that video even us we are black we don't know what to say because we don't yeah. have the the, it's really hard to react. Yeah, because, because there's no because there's no information there's no, or answers yeah. from Facebook. So what we only we can do pay. what we can re only react is that based on our experience yeah. and what we see on that videos are to uh, equality. Yeah, equality, equality. equality. <laughs> so this is just our opinion and our reaction on that video. Yes, please don't touch. So we just wanted to express our ideas. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. Yeah, Bye. terima kasih. Terima kasih Malaysia, Malaysia.